Hello and welcome to Gulf Beach Lodge, number 291, free and accepted Masons of Florida, located in the beautiful city of Madeira Beach. Gulf Beach Masonic Lodge is a regular lodge, working under the authority and charter of the most worshipful Grand Lodge of free and accepted Masons of Florida. Chartered on April 19, 1950, Gulf Beach Lodge has been an active force in the Gulf Beaches for over 72 years. In 1949, the closest Masonic Lodge to the Gulf Beaches was 11 miles away in downtown St. Petersburg and was more than a 30 minute drive. Local beach masons decided that there was a strong enough need for a lodge on the beaches and approached the Grand Lodge of Florida to petition for the creation of a new lodge. Under the leadership of Brother John Palmer, the beach masons came together in full force and earned the charter that was presented by Most Worshipful Grand Master Gus Deckel on April 19, 1950. When the lodge was chartered, it did not have a Masonic temple, and initially met at Church by the Sea in Madeira Beach, where a number of our lodge members belonged. Six months later, Brother Junius McCrocklin donated this parcel of land to the lodge for the purpose of erecting a temple. The construction of the temple was completed by the members of the lodge, who donated their time and finances to construct the building. The temple was completed in August of 1952, and we have been meeting here every Thursday since that date. As we enter the front door, we see our secretary's office immediately to the right. Moving to our left, we will find the Irvin L. Albright Memorial Library, where brothers can come and sit to read one of the many books on Freemasonry, or just spend some quiet time in contemplation. Glancing around, we see a spacious fellowship hall, which was dedicated in 2015 to the memory of worshipful brother John Anthony, who put much effort forth in remodeling the fellowship hall. This hall is used for the many Masonic and family events which frequently take place, including breakfasts on the first Sunday of each month between September and June, meals prior to lodge degrees and meetings, fundraiser events, and charity activities. Our kitchen, which was expanded in 1978, is kept active with meal preparation for our many events and activities. Our kitchen maintains a constant excellent rating by the Pinellas County Health Department, and our food servers are trained in food safety and health procedures. Looking to the left, we see our lodge elevator which was installed in 2010 so our elderly members and those with physical challenges can get upstairs easily. The elevator was paid for through a bequeathal from Brother Gene Shipman. Passing by the elevator, we arrive at a flight of winding stairs that lead to the second floor of the lodge building. At the top of the stairs, we notice in the Tyler's area a memorial to Brother Albert McMillan, a longtime Tyler of our lodge. Also on the wall of the Tyler's room, we notice a picture showing the members of our lodge who have served as District Deputy Grandmaster. Entering the lodge room, one immediately feels the warmth and welcoming atmosphere. This room was completely remodeled in 2009 with money from a bequeathal from Brother Al Tyndall. Looking around the room, we notice the two brazen pillars in the west, which were donated to the lodge in 1967 in memory of Brother William Underwood by his wife Dee. Facing east, we can't help but notice the starry decked heavens above the altar, which were installed as part of the 2013 Masters Project. The checkered floor was installed in 1994 and updated again in 2012. Looking closer at the east wall, we see a beautiful mural of the building of King Solomon's Temple. The Lodge commissioned Barbara Salazar, wife of the worshipful Fernando Salazar, master in 2012, to create this mural. The painting is oil on canvas, and each of the people in the painting are likenesses of real Lodge members. The painting took four years to complete, and will hang in the Lodge as long as we have a charter. 
This painting has become a very common backdrop for photos and copies of it can be found on coffee cups, luggage tags, playing cards, and greeting cards which can be purchased from the artist at Art by Salazar. Looking to the right, we see the wall of past masters of our lodge dating from 1950 through 2021. The outgoing master places his photo on the wall following the annual installation of his successor. As we are about to leave, we reflect on the many masons who have walked these floors over the past 72 years and marvel at how their vision of a vibrant, friendly, and fervent lodge has been maintained and how we are able to pass it on to the next generation. Gulf Beach Lodge meets each Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. except for July and August when we are dark. Our lodge has a social media presence and can be found at www.gulfbeachlodge.org and under Gulf Beach Masonic Lodge on Facebook and Instagram.